Hello, everybody, and welcome to Feature Friday. Yes, it is a wonderful Sunday evening, and, um, yeah. Today I'm joined by the wonderful Kelby, who, um, isn't, Hello. Re isn't really much of a Marble Blast player, but, hey, what can you do? We're trying to get him into it, so hopefully this uh, contributes to that. In any case, um, let's boot up Quaternion. So, one thing you'll notice is that I've completely removed the reverb, at least for the moment. I agree it was way too much, especially with the music in this next level. By the way, you're not going to hear the music right away because there's nothing there to trigger it. In Quaternion, music will mostly come on when something happens to trigger the music coming on. Uh, currently, Ready. I'm not quite sure what that thing Set. is, so Go. yeah. Also, uh, take a look at this. We have some pillars up in this level for scenery. And uh, these pillars use some lovely textures that I received from a member of this forum community. Any guesses as to whom? Well, I'll give you a little bit to think about that. In any case, uh, yeah, this whole level is looking a little bit nicer. Uh, we no longer have the, uh, the ugly... Um, we no longer have the ugly, weird scribbles from MS Paint or the security doors. Instead, we have something a little bit more, quote-unquote, legit. Uh, also, take a look at these. This looks a little bit more like a force field and a little bit less like something somebody drew up in Microsoft Paint. Uh, I intended for this to have some cool, like, shader animation, but I then realized that that was going to be very hard to do with the current shader setup. So, once the shader engine is in a more working format, uh, I, or form, I guess, uh, I will be actually animating this to make it have this sort of cool, wavy sort of effect, hopefully, and that will look a lot nicer. Hopefully, uh, hopefully by now you know not to look if you are worried about spoilers as far as what those codes are. In any case, um, yeah, I think the pillars had kind of an interesting touch to this level. I'm still not sure exactly how I feel about them, to be perfectly honest. But hey, uh, I can always come back to that later. For now, it was just good to have, like, you know, some initial scenery set up in this level. Um, what else has been going on? Well, as I said, there is music. And there is music. Okay, um, enough crappy references to things that a lot of people won't know. In any case, um, I guess I'll play this music for you guys. You can tell me what you think. Uh, we will do that through the console.
And the music just looped. I figured I'd stay silent for a bit so that you could hear the whole thing once through at the very least. But yes, that is the music that will be used in this level. Unless I decide to change it later, which you never know, I might. In any case, um, I think right now I'm actually going to try to turn the game audio down a little bit. Dang it. I never did fix this, but I will fix that at some point. Don't, do not let me forget. Anyway, there are a couple of cool inside hidden things and references in that music as well. If anybody wants to look, at, look for them, be my guest. Uh, one of them is really quiet, so I'm not sure if it'll come out as audible on the stream. So what's on the agenda for next week, you may ask? Well, next week I plan on doing some of the other stuff that's a little bit overdue. Uh, one of those things, primarily, is, um... Oh, what's it called? I completely lost my train of thought. Ah, yes! Uh, the editor has some issues. Uh, namely, whenever you save a level, I find myself having to go into the level file manually and edit a bunch of stuff to get it to not break the game when you reopen the level. This sucks, and it's kind of not good, so I'm going to try to get that fixed by next week so that I can edit the rest of the levels in the game a little bit more easily. Uh, after that, uh, another thing will be the collectibles that I've been mentioning for like a month now and haven't yet fully designed or made. But they are coming. Do be aware of this. Do not worry. Ready! Set! Oh yeah, there's a nice glitch. Sometimes the start pad or whatever that actually is going to end up being Sometimes it doesn't, like, it, it becomes, um, you know, not solid. No clue Ready. why this is. Go! Also, sometimes sound effects randomly don't play. Also, no clue why that is. Hopefully these are things that I can resolve Ready. at some point Go. in the future. Not necessarily the new future, the near future, because those are a little bit, um... A, a little bit, uh, you know, low priority as far as glitches go. Oh, speaking of glitches, I do have some good news for everybody. You know those physics glitches that I've been bringing up, like, several times? Uh, turns out we may at last have a permanent fix for them. Um, so... Be ready to hear about that soon. And, you know, next week, be ready to hear about how I was able to finally fix the glitch. If you do not hear that next week, then blame Jeff, because he's the one who discovered this fix. Weather Wonders. Oh, by the way, Weather Wonders. Uh, good job on the textures. Uh, Weather Wonders is saying that the music... How did that happen? Uh, note to self, fix the glitch in tic-tac-toe. Oh, wonderful. Now I can't use that pad. That's a strange glitch. Um, I'll investigate that as well. Yeah, something about this tic-tac-toe game got completely screwed up. Those towers are solid, by the way. Ready. Anyway, Weather Wonders is correct to think that there is a reference to Pythagoras' device. There is indeed a reference to Pythagoras' device. 
It's a little bit hidden, a little bit <clears throat> masked, that's a hint. But yes, there is indeed a reference to Pythagoras' device, which in itself was also a reference to another tune, one that I didn't make. No, Siri, no me molestes. The frack is she saying? <laughs> For those of you who are wondering what the heck just happened, Siri thought I was talking to her. Also, I have my phone set to Spanish. Also, yeah, don't ask. So yes, um, if anybody has any questions, which at this point is basically saying if Weather Wonders has any questions, or is Kel yes, Kelby's still in here. Hi, Kelby. Kelby doesn't want to talk right now. In any case, if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'll give you some time to think. I just thought of a terrible pun. Ready. If, uh, Set. if weather Go. wonders goes off somewhere alone and nobody knows where he's going then does that mean people will ask whither wanders weather wonders Okay, well, it doesn't appear that anybody has any questions at the moment. This is not necessarily a bad thing. After all, I guess that just means I've been explaining myself pretty well over the past 15 minutes. So, uh, we are going to end the stream here. Um, I feel a little bit awkward saying this because somebody apparently just joined the Twitch stream. Um, whoever just joined, hi. Um, sorry to sort of end the stream in your face. But, yeah. Uh, in any case, um, this has been fairly boring, so I'm going to say something interesting to fill the gap. Um, Seven bowls of soup. I'll let you ponder what that could possibly mean. Hint, nothing. In any case, um, we are going to end the stream here then. And I will see you all next week. Say goodbye, Kelby. Bye.